For me to be someone who does not have current representation, by the way, if you're interested in representing me, uh, go ahead and hit me up. My email is official at gmail.com, okay? Anywho, I am blessed enough to get a lot of callbacks, a lot of auditions, and a lot of media requests. So, obviously, we finna talk about some self tape. We wanna say shout out to all the ladies. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Amaya J, and welcome back to my channel, Officially Amaya, where we talk about everything acting, everything industry, and everything LA, okay? And today, we are talking about self Before we get down to the logistics of everything, I want to say hey to all 43 subscribers that I have. We are still growing, okay? I think we gained like a total of seven new subscribers in this past week. So I am so proud of that. And like I told you all before, over here, we celebrate small wins and successes in the eyes of the beholder. And I feel like we're going up. Let me start off by saying I have never been in an audition room because once the pandemic hit, it changed the industry that we all knew before. Instead of going into the audition room, we were right in front of our iPhone cameras or professional cameras doing a self tape at home. And I'm gonna be honest, I love self tapes. I genuinely love them and I'm gonna tell you guys how I do them. So first things first, let's talk about what makes a good self tape. Lighting. Number one is lighting. It is so, so hard to have a good self tape if you do not have the right light and you cannot be seen on the camera. So I suggest a ring light, some box lights if you have it, something like that you know just to make sure that your face is seen we we want to see you we want to make sure that we are getting all of your facial expressions okay that's number another one another thing that makes a good self tape is the background okay and when it comes to backgrounds you can either have a backdrop i don't have a backdrop yet because i'm ordering it and it's in the mail i do want to get one but if you don't have a backdrop, a clean space, a clean background, like get a nice neutral color wall and do your thing with your self tape audition. A lot of people are like, oh, if you don't have a backdrop, it's unprofessional. And I used to feel that way, but I realized that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And if I'm just not gonna do an audition because I'm like, I don't have a background, a backdrop, I'm gonna miss the shot that I don't take. I'm gonna get in front of this blank canvas of a wall and I'm going to do my best work. And most actors, I just wanna say that most actors that we watch on TV, when they did self tapes, they most of their self tapes were not in front of a backdrop when they, these huge roles that they got. Uh, I, I love Lakeith Stanfield. I, I love that man, I adore him. And I love how he's been posting his self tapes on TikTok and just sharing it all over TikTok. And, he just be auditioning in his hotel room and be like, I don't got a backdrop. You're gonna see this back, this back bed, and I'm I'm giving these lines to you. And I'm just gonna say, listen, you gotta do what you gotta do to get your self tape in. Number one, okay. Whenever you self tape, you need to remember, or whenever you're getting ready to self tape, you need to remember that you always shoot your self tape horizontally not vertically and if you don't know what that means i'm getting ready to give you an example right now it's vertical and this is horizontal and this is the correct way to film a self-tape why because it opens up the space it also makes sure that you can see three inches above your head and right to your belly button it gives you space and opportunity to show the emotions the ranges of emotions nobody wants to look at a self-tape that's vertical because it just doesn't open up the space, you know? So yeah, always make sure that you are filming your self-tape horizontally. After you have fixed it horizontally, set all your lights up and everything like that, then you have to slate. What is a slate? A slate is basically you introducing who you are and it goes like this. Hi, my name is Amaya J. I am five, two and a half and I am based in Los Angeles, California. 
it comes down to a slate, you're always going to introduce yourself with your name, where you're from, and sometimes even the part that you're auditioning for. And based upon the instructions of the audition, they might ask you to tell them a fact about yourself or tell them a funny story. It just, it just depends on what they're asking for on a slate. But a generic slate is your name, where you're from, and what you're auditioning for. So yeah. Now, when it comes to doing your scene uh, in a self-tape after the slate, always make sure that you mark where your eye line is. Nobody wants to watch a self-tape where you're looking too high up like this. See, it's not making any sense for me to do this because I'm speaking to you. So I wouldn't be looking up this way or too low this way. We want an eye line that if we're doing a scene, we're looking in a good, clear area. And I will give you guys an example from a self-tape that I have done. Always, always, always make sure that you find your eye line. And also, I want to mention this. Make sure that whenever you find your eye line, make sure that it's still showing your face. Some people put their eye line placement too far this way and only half of their face is showing. So whoever's watching it, whatever casting director is watching it, they're only getting this side of your face and not the full range of your emotions or how you're responding when the reader is respond or reacting with you. Uh, so always make sure that your eye line is in an area where you can see your face, your full face, so they can get your full range of emotions. And also make sure that your eyes are not too high, not too low, but in the right area to make it as if you are staring at somebody that close to you, you know? Um, so, yeah. Here are some tips to remember when you are self-taping. When you start off self-taping, always give yourself three tell yourself i'm going to do three tapings of this and know that you are going to put your best work forward best foot forward in each of them because there is a such thing as overdoing it with self tapes being like i know i could do this better i know i could do that better and then you look up and you've recorded the thing 16 times and you can't choose between the first one or the third one and you end up going with the first one because the first one was the best one anyway so that's a tip uh give yourself three and put your best foot forward each and every single time you do the tape and know that one of your best ones is going to be out of those three do not overdo it with self tapes i promise you don't put that much pressure on yourself know that you got it in three and you'll knock it out of the park and another one. thing that i totally forgot to mention when it comes to self taping that makes it a great self tape is having a good reader when you are doing lines and dialogue with someone else, make sure that the person that you have reading for you is a good reader, somebody that you can read well with, work well with, that you feel comfortable with. Uh, that always makes a fantastic self-tape when you're comfortable with the person that's Another reading. thing that makes a great self-tape that I feel like I shouldn't have to mention, but I'm going to mention it anyway, is a prepared actor with your lines memorized, known, not in your hand. That's what makes a great self-tape. Just you showing up doing your job as an actor and bringing everything that you have to a part that makes a brilliant self-tape another helpful tip is to always 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 take account of when your self-tape is due so the deadlines of the self-tapes because sometimes self-tapes are due at 8 a.m sometimes they're due at 8 p.m always 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 give yourself enough time to do your self tape edit and get it in on time because you never know what can happen depending on what network that you're using sometimes it takes longer for the video to upload you never know what's going to happen give yourself enough time so you won't be stressing out about when the self tape is going to get there so yeah this is a tip for anyone just starting off uh self taping and, and acting when you are self taping feel free to just let it all out. I know that it's nerve wracking to get in front of a camera, but remember that you are in the comfort of your own space. Give it your all, don't hold back. Like, let it all loose, let it all go. Don't be afraid to make choices in your self tape. Don't be afraid to make different choices in each self tape that you do of it because guess what you might like one choice over another choice and end up picking that one to be the one that you send in and i just always 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 recommend that make choices make good choices stick to the choices that make sense to you that make sense to the character 
I shouldn't tell you how to be an actor, but I, I can't help giving helpful advice because I, I love this thing that I do and I love to see other people succeed in it. So yeah. And those are all the tips and tricks that I have for you all when it comes to self-taping. I hope and I pray that all of you take these tips and apply them and I hope that they're helpful. I hope that they're useful to you. I hope that you can share this video to anybody that you know that's just starting off self-taping or just need extra tips when it comes to self-taping and it blesses them as well and i will see you all next week for another video on officially amaya channel